almost everybody's open guard kinda sucks. So I always like to pull out the lapel, breaking their posture right here, okay? What I'm gonna do is here, what's this? Yes, sir. Yes, right here, okay? I'm gonna be always feeding off of this, this lapel, because this is a great option here, okay? As I break the posture here, okay, he wants to posture up, okay? As I break this posture here, I hook that leg and I get into the squid entry right here, okay? I like to scoot my hip out so that my ankle is by his hip, but I'm still controlling the leg here, okay? Because it's very difficult for him now to pass to the conventional left side. It limits him to basically only go to the right, which is fairly easy to anticipate, okay? And with this foot here, I'm just gonna create space and I'm gonna keep him pushed back, okay? What happens here is that typically when you push somebody back, they lean forward, okay? When you pull them, they start leaning back, okay? This is just a space created, and if you notice, I'm on my right side, okay? Because that, angles are absolutely vital when you're playing any form of guard, especially lapel guard, because you don't want to be square, okay? I have control of his leg. He can't really even pull that leg back, okay? So the more he pulls it back here, the more I can push him and he loses his balance. From here, what's really nice is that there's two arms to attack. There's his arm right here, okay, his right arm, and there's that arm, which is his base arm. But from here, if I let him push back into me right here, look, I can take this off and I can begin to invert here and then begin to attack arm locks right here, okay? If he pulls out that arm or he drops his head right here, like low, I'll take this hand, I'll let go, and I'll block off this whole side right here so he can't really post it out and I'll pull him into me. As I rock to the right, I'll sweep him to the left. And this has been a really effective sweep when I set it up by attacking that arm. When you do this enough with your partners, okay, they begin to not really know what to do. They posture up, they drop the posture down, they drop it down, you sweep. They posture up, you take the arm, okay? So here, if he begins to shove his head through here and then I block off, his right arm with this leg right here. And I grab right here so that he can't really extend that arm, mm -hmm. okay? As I move like move my hips to the right and I'm pulling this lapel down, as he pushes back in obviously, I roll him up over me and then I still keep coming up. This has been very, very effective. I like to get that knee on that lapel so that as he's trying to extend his arm, I mean his leg, it's very difficult <laughs> right here because I have a very solid grip. Okay, so this is a great squid guard sweep and you set it up off of attacking the arm. You get the arm, you get the arm, okay? So as I go here, sit up here, I wanna scoot away so my thigh is not trapped in there. I need to be here, okay? Because what's nice here is that if I begin to invert and he tries to stop me right here with his right arm, okay? I can go here and now it's a done deal, here. Okay. If I invert this way here, he stops me here, okay? I can go right here and I can begin to lock up basically and I'm gonna plot it here, okay? And what's nice about this here is that oftentimes they're gonna think that they wanna drive their knee here because we'll be safe, but it's great because here I can begin to get here and still sweep. And this is just a lot of options. So what we're gonna do is First, we're just going to talk about you guys having enough tension to be able to invert and set up the angles. So as I go here, yeah, I feed it just enough so that my right heel can push off it because I need to be able to do this and invert, okay? Because sometimes they just don't want to let you have this arm here, okay? Here what's nice is that you can begin to invert and then you can take them back that way, which turns into a really nice sweep. You just have to be very careful of the person's uh, left knee so their foot's not posted out and they don't tweak it, okay? So I just want you guys to be able to invert because it's the inversion that creates options. And inverting is basically swinging my leg out like a pendulum, okay? In order to be able to Get on my right shoulder. Okay, I'm more on my right shoulder than my left. Okay, I go here. He's gonna posture up. My foot goes here, and I'm just gonna go one, two, three. Okay, man. Here. Okay, 
and he's kind of gonna help me right here. Pull. Yes, right here. Because here, as I invert, I can bring my hips up and get that arm. He pulls that arm out, baby. Look, I have Domo Plotus here. What's nice is what I did to Angela here is that as I swept her, this way she put her right hand out and posted it out there. Yes, yes, yes. And now here it's, you have triangles here also. But the key is to be able to rotate, okay? Uh, yeah. And to have your right foot always engaged in spurring because I'm basically pushing off with this leg as I'm swinging out here. And this leg has to be able to rotate. You never leave it dangling. When your toes are back, the whole leg's engaged, okay? Because maybe I just want to pull them right back into a guard, okay? And go for the closed guard squirt sweep. Here, he postures up here. Look, I'm here. Look, and now I'm gonna invert. It's like I'm, and I'm also pulling my head to his knee. So as I invert, I'm pulling my head to his knee. Let me go this way. Let me go this way. So it's literally, I'm like underneath it. I'm, I'm exaggerating, but you need to be able to do this in order to be able to engage your hips, in order to be able to see all of this. And then we're gonna go into attacking uh, the sweep, setting up a sweep or an arm lock, arm lock or a sweep, okay? But if you see how deep my foot is right here, okay? I also wanna have enough of a grip on this lapel that is not gonna let him kick his leg back. If my wrist, I've noticed, is too deep in here, yeah, right there, that puts a lot of tension on the wrist. If my lapel is here and he starts kicking back, I can handle it because my wrist is not bending and I wanna keep posture here. Because yeah. if he's here, you can also begin to, yes, to just push him back, yeah, 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 he's not gonna wanna do it, but sometimes they fall backwards. Also here, you can take that foot out and as you come up here, and you can begin to pass this way to get your foot out, okay? So, I just want you guys to be able to invert and back. And invert and back, and just get motions going. Okay, let's go, one, two, three. Please partner up accordingly, size-wise. I need inverted engagement these two gentlemen right here. You're my size. In order to 